Times like these. Yes, sir. We need to know without a shadow of a doubt which way we are headed. All right. yes. Amen. Amen. Which way we are headed. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. So this word tonight It's titled what? what you know. Amen. Yeah. Want us to kind of stay together and read together good, the best we can, you know, yeah. so it won't be confusing for <laughs> If we look at the, at the first scripture, yeah. the first scripture starts off like this. Deuteronomy Come on, read it. I call, call heaven and earth, and earth to record this day. Yes. yes. That I have set before you life and death. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Therefore choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. It ain't just for you, is it? No, sir. <laughs> it says, for you and your seed. <clears throat> now, that's why I say the choice is yours. The old folks sang a song way back. It said, if I die and my soul be lost, nobody's fault but mine. Start off saying, we say that we as a people are people of choice and self will. Do y'all agree with that? Yes. All right. We don't as a whole like it when others decide for us. Is that right? Yes. Amen. We don't like it when they decide for us. Come on, we'll, we'll read the rest of this. We want to choose our place to avoid. Don't we? Yes. Employment. What and when to eat uh -huh. and our place. Of uh, and choices uh -huh. to, to what we do. That's why we go, we go to so many different places. Uh -huh. All around, we all different kinds. Of Methodist, Episcopal, whatever we want to do. We want our choice to do it, don't we? Yeah. We don't want folks to know what's in now. You got to go to the Baptist church. Uh -huh. <clears throat> that's, a, <clears throat> excuse me, that's the church that I want to see you at. Now we want to make our own choice. Uh -huh. Now, it goes on to say, we know no, for a fact uh -huh. that our first choice to the have great consequences. Say that again. We, we know, know for a fact that our choices to these matters have great consequences. Even here on earth. Tell about it. Tell about it. Jail. Is that a choice? Prison. Mm -hmm. Hospital. Yeah. And even greater. When well, we don't decide the right sort of decisions, mm -hmm. these are the consequences yeah. down here on earth in society. Come on, but, but make it plain here. Therefore, yeah, it would be reasonable to expect great consequences for our spiritual choices. Now, that's what we're working at. Our spiritual choices, there are grave consequences to go along with the spiritual choices. I mean, not, not a grave in the ground, but important, important, life-changing decisions. Amen. Now, but let me let me say this right here. But there's a virus of sorts that has been here a long than the coronavirus. Come on. One that has infected and killed a lot more than the coronavirus. Come on. It is one that has been passed and spread among all people and all men have become infected. It is. Do y'all agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. All mankind, uh -huh. every color mankind, uh -huh. has been infected. Yeah. All right. Amen. Okay. Has been infected. Come on down here. Wherefore, as by one man sin. That's Roman 10, Roman 5 and 12. Say, whereby, wherefore, wherefore, as by one man, one man entered into, into the world, and death by sin, Come on. and so death passed unto all men, but that all have sinned, Romans 3, 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. One carrier, yeah. all it took, Come on. Adam was that carrier. Yeah. Now because of Adam, the Bible says that all uh, mankind, death passed upon all men. Yes, sir. For that all have sinned. Because of one man. You born here in this world a sinner. Yes, sir. If you don't choose, 
the right way to go. Uh -huh. And you can't choose it. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that in a minute here too. As a result, we all have need of a regeneration and justification. A regeneration and a justification. We, we got to have that now. We got to have it. Get on a blood pressure pill. Yes, sir. And guess what you got to do? Keep on taking them. Get on a diabetes medicine. It ain't no cure for it. No. You got to take it as long as you live. We got to have regeneration for as long as we live, if we want to live. All right. Look what it says here. Which is a spiritual cleansing and being brought into a right relationship with Christ in order that we don't end up in hell. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. We got so much controversy nowadays. Don't. Talking about hell. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you what the word says. Come on. Now, he says, let not your heart be troubled. Mm -hmm. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, now, this is this heavenly place. Come on. If Jesus prepared it, you got to know it's heaven. But I want you to do something. If you got your Bible with you, go go to, to the Gospel of St. Matthew. I want you to go this right quick. Yes. Okay. Matthew 25. Y'all see 25? Yes. Matthew 25 and 34. Yes, sir. And now let, let's break this thing up right quick. What does 25 and 34 say? Then shall the king say unto them mm -hmm. on his right hand. On the right hand. Come, ye blessed, ye blessed of the Lord. Father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. How, how you get it? It's prepared. It's prepared for you. And it's for yes. you. Your name is on it. It's, on. it's guaranteed you. Uh Y'all -huh. hear that? Yeah. Now I want you to run down to verse number 41 see what it says. We talk about this left hand now. Yes, sir. 41 says what? Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand. Come on. Depart from me. Mm. Ye cursed. Yes. To everlasting fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen a grave with a bunch of fire coming out of it? No. That ain't, that ain't, because that ain't what he's talking about. He's talking about something that's been prepared. Hell has been prepared for the devil and his angels. Uh -huh. The workers of iniquity. Mm -hmm. right. That's who we prepared for. So I want you to always keep that in mind when you go to hear about ain't no hell. Uh -huh. right. I will sure wouldn't take a chance on it. We as a people come on. I, I'm, I gotta hear myself here. Go ahead and read where you stopped off. There is only one, one, one way we can avoid him, and that is we have to accept Christ as our Savior. One way only, whereas we can avoid hell, the hell I just got to reading about, and you just got to reading about. Prepare. It ain't no, ain't no happenstance. It ain't no mistake. No, it was prepared. It was premeditated, so to say. Hell is premeditated on even anybody's part. Christ knew what he was doing to when he made hell. Because he knew all of us wasn't going to act right. Acting like a devil. He said, I got a place for them. Right. Is that not the word? Right. Yeah. There is no other source of power except Christ. And I put my life on it. That is the living truth. It goes on to say, it is the power that God the Father sent us expressly for that very purpose. There ain't, no other, ain't no other reason for it. He sent his son. Come on, read it. The purpose of a salvation in order that our souls don't end up in hell. All right, all right. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only that whosoever Anybody ever should not perish for hell everlasting To all of them that are not even born yet. That's right. To everybody. 
that will ever breathe the breath of life, he said, if you believe in me, you shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, explanation. This is the reason we've got to choose you got no other choice. This is the reason why we got to choose Christ. Because of what? God has given us the great gift of his darling son, who then gave his life for us as a ransom to free us from the bondage of sin. Didn't he do it? Yes. Look what he says here in Mark, in Mark the 10th chapter, verse number 45. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered. No, he didn't. But to minister. Yes, he did. And to give his life a ransom mm. men, Not for everyone, but for all who choose him as a savior. Now, I want people going to stay to bring that up to you. For God, look. God sent his son to die for any, not everyone. That's right. But anybody who believes yeah. gave it to us. If we believe, Yes. Salvation is only unto those who believe. You don't get salvation because you think about it. No, no. You got to believe it. It's not because you talk about it. But you got to believe it. See, because folk, folk will talk to you to death. Folk talking and talking, claiming they know the Bible inside and out, but do the Bible know you inside and out? Is there a relationship there? Amen. That's what you got to have. God is tired of this stuff that the world is pulling. The world's claiming they need Jesus right now. My world needs you. I don't know about the world, but I sure need him. Now, I, I, I got to have him because I got to have salvation. Eternal life. After I get to the end, I want eternal life. Look what it says here. Only by choosing Christ does our guilty plea of being sinners All right. doomed for hell. Yes. Pleases God and satisfies our sin. Do y'all believe that? Yes. yes. That's the only way our sin debt gonna be canceled. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Our sin, our guilty plea. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. God fixed it so that hmm. we could get rid of that guilty plea. Yes. And, 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 and uh, except that blood shed for me, I'm standing here guilty at the cross because I know I got to have salvation and I, got, I know who's going to have to bring it. Yeah. Only by our choosing Christ, that's the only way to get out this, this guilty plea of being a sinner doomed for the pits of hell. That's what pleases God. That's what knocks our dead out. Jesus the Christ is the only thing, is the only thing that stands between us and hell. Stand between us and hell. We're on the way to hell, but Jesus standing there on that cross. Can't you see? The cross, that's the bridge. That's the bridge. He's standing there between us and hell. And heaven. We can't get out of this hell except we choose to go across his bridge into heaven. Look, read that again. Jesus the Christ is the only thing that stands between us and heaven. Prove it. For there is one God and one mediator between God and me. A mediator? Yes. The man who? Christ Jesus. Came here as a man. Mm -hmm. Defeated sin as a man. Yes. Yes, he did. What do you think that, that, that devil would have done when he got ready to tempt Jesus, cast yourself down. Mm. He will send an angel. If he had seen him as an angel to start with, he would not have dared him to do it. That's right. Taking him up different places. If he had not been a man that turned down bread. Come on. Making bread. Yeah, they kind of believe like a lot of folks, other folk have. He believed that Jesus was able to turn these stones into bread. Yeah. But that's all he believed. He sure didn't believe he was God, did he? No. Right. But Jesus had to tell him, you can't tell God. Sure enough. Amen. Now. Yes, sir. Did y'all read the last part? No. 
For there is one God, one mediator between man and God. The man, the man Jesus. What is his name? Jesus Christ. Uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 6 says, Who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. It ain't just put down, not just written down, but it's the word of God. The word of God said he gave himself a ransom. I didn't say it. I know it because God said it in his word. And I believe everything he put in the word. But his word declares and backs me up that he gave himself a ransom for mankind. Now, so we're glad and rejoice, and rejoice. that our end is not for the Can you say yes to that? Amen. 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 I, will, I don't care how we were brought up. I don't care what went on. That is not the defining moment of our life. No, it, it can't be. What, that such thing is getting saved. Amen. Read the rest of it. Of the Lord. Wouldn't it? And to be trained up as a child in the way we should go. Come on. For God gave us a choice and a chance to be different. Yes, He did. It is a choice only good as long as we make it while we yet live. Y'all agree with that? Yes. You got to make it win while we yet live. And what is the choice? The choice is this follow people. Right. Come on. Follow peace with all men. Yes. And holiness. And holiness. Without which no man shall see the Lord. Guarantee. That's a guarantee. We follow holiness. That's a guarantee. Finally, it says this. Back, back to, the, to the head scripture again. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Mm hmm. That I have set before you life and death. Lord Jesus. Blessings and curses. Therefore choose life. Mm. That both thou and thy seed may live. That Sunday morning. Uh, I made my choice. Been wrestling with things. Yes sir. Trying to live certain ways and do certain ways. But that Sunday morning. I made my choice. Yes, sir. I said Lord please. please. Save my soul. I didn't say, Lord, make me a church member. I already was a church member and a deacon in, in the church. But I had need to be told to tell him, Lord, please save my soul. Yeah. Yeah. And I gave up the word. Yes, Lord. I gave it up. I knew I had to raise my family in the nurture and in the admonition of the Lord. I, what, what could I tell him that would last any longer than he got in front of me? Yeah, I told the Lord, I said, I, I, I serve you. Yeah. And I began to serve him right then. Come on now. I knew what was required of me. Uh -huh. That choice of life and death. I didn't want to die and go to hell. My yes, sir. I was a young man. I didn't have dying on my mind. Right, yes, sir. But something about God's word yeah. put it in me yeah. that I could die. Yeah. Right. Wasn't a lot of people dying of our age come on back now. then come on it, it's not not it's not registering on your mind uh -huh. when there's not a case yeah. like that yeah. I, I, now today it'd be a different story oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. because it's so common now Amen. folk don't want to hear about jesus oh, death don't move people anymore mm -hmm. so it says the choice, the choice our, our choice, choice. Their consequences. Come on. Whether we choose blessings or curses, the eternal choice is to have eternal life or eternal death. Eternal death. Why? Romans 6 23. For the wages of sin is death. Yes, it is. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Only through Christ Jesus. And so, the choice is yours. The choice is yours. We can choose it. I excuse him. But it's coming up again. Choice is yours. Nobody can choose for you. Mothers can pray for the kids. Fathers can pray for them. But except they make their choice. 
won't do any good. God wants you free willed. Want you to free will choose Him. You won't have to let you see tragedy for you to choose Him. You won't think God is God till you're having tragedy. Choose Him in peace time. Choose Him while everything is well with you. When it's well with you, you sure know you got somebody to turn to when things are not going well with you. Yeah. Often say, choose God while it's good. Yeah. So you won't be a stranger when trouble comes. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Pray that everybody receive this lesson tonight. Yeah. Talk about the choice. Yeah. Take it and look back on it. Yeah. Feast on it. Yeah. Yes. Let God work with you. Oh, yeah. All right. Good to go along with your Sunday school lesson. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Ask God to open your understanding. Yeah. Even farther than this. Ask God to open it up. Mm -hmm. So that you can get the benefit of this lesson. You might need to be telling somebody else about this lesson. Because right. yeah. they got to make a choice. Yeah. Right. My, my, my wife got a cousin that lives in Memphis. <laughs> and they called him ever since he was a kid. His name Robert, I believe. Yeah. They call him Chaucer. <laughs> Chaucer. He always was so choosy about things. Yeah. And we don't have to have our names changed to be Chaucer. You got to choose where you hang out at. Who you hang out with. Choose to do the right always instead of wrong. Choose to hear the Holy Spirit talking to you. Get somewhere and get quiet so the Spirit can talk. And you can hear it. Yes, sir. Everyday life is troublesome. A whole lot of trouble. Everywhere you look, problems going on. You need to get to your peaceful shore. Get off by yourself. Sit down somewhere. Be quiet. Wait on God to hear you. Wait on God to talk to you. And hear him when he talks. It works. I know it works. Get in your car. Turn that radio off. Put them tapes up, CDs up. Stop and just say, I'm going to hear from God today. Yes, I want yes, God to bless me. Oh, yeah. yes, Why you want me to go, Lord? Yes. Right, right. Just got the day started. Yes. Well, I need to know where you want me to go. Right. When I get there, what you want me to do? Yes. I'll say what? Because oh, yes. yes. yeah. I'm your vessel. Thank right. you. Yes, sir. That's all I am. God's vessel. Yeah. Yeah. His mouthpiece. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll say what you want me to say. Because there may be somebody who wouldn't hear from the preacher. Yeah. Who wouldn't hear the word from church. Yes, so hear it from me. Yeah. Let them hear me talk. Tell them your goodness. Yes, sir. Blessed right. be the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 You're getting ready to go on now. We praise God and thank God. Thank you. Is it good? Yeah. Everybody just got to say hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Good, good thank you, God. Let's ask God to bless right now. Yeah. Father, yeah. in your mighty name, yeah. we come now yeah. and we say thank you. Thank you, God. you have been good. Yeah. You're good right yeah. now. We thank you, Lord. You've carried us, you, yes, kept us, Lord God. Yes. Put your arms around us and made the enemy go on by us. Yes. We glorify you now, Jesus. We thank you for the word that keeps us daily. Thank you, Lord God. Use us in your service. Bless us now. We, we got families and children. And we, we need you to come in now. Some of them are walking with their backs towards you, Lord. Lord Father, speak to them. Let them know that it's not just COVID that's a threat to them. Because, Lord God, you already, already told us there's an appointed time. Speak now, Lord God, while they can hear, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We beg you to go with Sister Mitchell's family. Bless her children right now. Stand by them, Lord God. Use them, Lord, in your service. Help them, Lord God, to bear this burden, this pain, Lord God, they're feeling. Help them, Lord Jesus. 
Lord God, let us know that we got a time coming. Bless the families that are bereaved right now. Oh, touch them. Mighty God, touch them. Regardless of what is going on, bless them. Let them know, Lord God, they too have a time. Bless them before it's too late, Lord God. That they will receive you before it's too late. In the name of Jesus. Bless the ones that are afflicted and sick. Those who can't come out tonight. Lord God, bless those, Lord God, that, that are fighting restrictions in the holy name of Jesus. We do give you praise and thanks. We ask you to keep us in your power. Your care, Lord God, keep us right now in the name of Jesus. And we give your name praise and glory. And we say thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.